Oh my gosh. Okay, so anyways, <clears throat> there's this other YouTuber. I don't know if you all saw the video I put on my backup channel. Um, when I made the community post, I told you all to go check that video out. I don't know what's going on with this lady. Um, she did a live stream last night, took it down. She actually doxed me. She showed my full name on the email. The only reason I was emailing her in the first place was to um, send her information for cancer alternatives. I was trying to help her out. But little did I know that that was her husband's email address. She never had her email listed anywhere on her channel, okay? And in a live stream, she had actually said the email's on my PayPal. So that's where I got the idea to even email, to even email this email for her. And I thought I was emailing her. I was like, hey, Miss A, blah, 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 blah. Now she's telling people, yeah, exactly. Now she's telling people that I keep emailing her, but yet the other day she said that her husband blocked me when I initially emailed her. So if her husband blocked my email, how am I emailing her? Her husband still. She's just full of lies, you all. If I had a Bible right here, which I do, it's got some stuff on it, I will swear right now on the Bible that I've not emailed her since January 3rd, 2018. Okay? As God is my witness, I do not want her husband. I'm happily married. She's trying to start a bunch of drama. It's all lies, you all. I was emailing her to help her. And she keeps telling people, she's emailing my husband. She's emailing my husband. She's still emailing him, blah, blah, blah. Honey, I don't want your husband. I'm happily married. I have two kids. I've been with my husband since I was... Well, we started dating. I was 14. He was 16. I was almost 15. And we've been together. We've been married since 2002. And we've been together since 1995. Okay. That's a long time. Yeah, she called me a hussy because I was emailing the email that I had to get a hold of her. Yet that was her husband's email. I had no idea. That was her husband's email. I thought, you know, well, maybe they sh shared a joint email because she told me, oh, the email's on my PayPal. So that's where I got the idea to go to her PayPal to get the email. Totally switching stuff all around. I don't know what's up with people on YouTube. And then they're trying to bring up that Chris Watts video where I saw his dad, you know, in the video. Well, I took that video down because somebody, you know, showed me something I didn't see. And yet they're still trying to bring that up because I'm crazy because I seen that. Well, if you all did, were in the live chat, other people saw it too. I mean, it did look like his dad. But I'm not bringing any more of that drama up because I'm sorry I made a mistake. I came out and said I made a mistake. I'm not crazy because I seen what I seen. Um, if it was, you know, it kind of makes you wonder though. Um, if a camera can see somebody else completely different, how do you know that it didn't see Chris and see somebody else? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just saying. This all started after the Chris Watts case, yes. And what I was doing is I was going to other streams where they were talking about it and, you know, wasn't really making friends there, was just there for info, and um, one of the bigger channels, actually, I had more subscribers than her at the time, but one of the other bigger channels, um, we were emailing back and forth with information. And she actually put my phone number in a mass text with the guy that debunked my Chris Watt surveillance footage. Just try to start drama. And, you know, when you put your phone number in a mass group text with somebody else that you don't even know, I mean, that's not right. That's not cool. You should at least ask their permission first. But, and I had said some things. I even did a stream on my backup channel talking about the, the uh, Go Lightly YouTube channel, how she was selling her merch and stuff. And I was upset because she had made fun of Shanann Watts, which was the wife that was killed. She literally mocked her. 
I was upset. It made me upset. This woman is dead. She could not defend herself. I had no idea that she had apologized. So yeah, I went to other channels and I had said some things. And once I found out that she had apologized for that, I went to her stream about five nights ago and I apologized public, publicly to her. I said, I've said some things I shouldn't have and I, I'm going to publicly apologize to you because I did not know that you had apologized. You know, I'm real people. You know, we're all human. We all, well, some of us might not be. Some of us might be bots, you know, not me, but you know what I'm saying. But it's not right for somebody to, to start lying on somebody saying and showing people's names. You know, I have a family. And, and keep making lies. Oh, she, you know, she's been stalking me since uh, she said this. She said, I've been stalking her since October 14th. Well, I went the first video I ever watched of her, and thank God that e that YouTube keeps track of this. I went to her channel, and I mean, it could have been one of the ones she deleted, but YouTube tells me the first video of Lady Ace that I ever watched was on December 6th. I didn't even watch her before then at all. So... Uh, she's she's really really lying. She she's lying, and I don't I don't know why this started. The only thing is, in Go Lightly's chat the other night, she came in there, and supposedly it wasn't her account; it was hacked. And I had asked her about the chemo bag. She's trying to prove everybody she has cancer. So she posted the saline bag, right? Well, she got diagnosed with cancer in December. She's been asking for donations, put up a PayPal, all that good stuff. I was fully supportive, fully supportive, you know. And her proof of showing for her chemo was a saline bag that was dated for April 28th, 2018. But yet she had just got diagnosed of cancer in December. So I guess her doctor was psychic, right? Yeah, I know her channel wasn't hacked. I know because if her channel was literally hacked, when I asked that question, she wouldn't have been mad at me. She would not have been mad at me. Crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. And she's got all these people calling me hussy, calling me crazy, calling me nut job. I mean, I've always tried to help people the emails i think there was one email that i sent to her where i told her i thought this other youtuber had called in and i thought it was oni or something and that's the only other email that i sent her besides um talking about cancer treatments that's it And then she told her subscribers, listen to this, she told her subscribers that she had to take down her channel, but yet all she did was change her name, and she took down where you couldn't see the amount of subscribers she has, and she told people that was a whole new account. Well, that's a lie right there. I, I just don't understand people like this. No, no, she didn't take the chemo home. She just took a picture of the actual bag where she was getting the treatment, but it was from back in April. She didn't get diagnosed till December, but the, the, the saline bag that she was showing was dispense date April. April of 2018. So that made people question if she even really had cancer. She had put up a PayPal donation. She didn't even go to her own channel to tell her own subs that she had cancer. She went to somebody else's live stream and put it in the chat because she wanted the larger amount of people to see that so that she could get donations. So I, I don't know what to think about it. I'm not going to say she doesn't have cancer. I'm not going to say that, but I do know people that have been on chemo. Usually when somebody has chemo, they literally have to have help walking they can barely speak, 
you know, there's all kinds, you know, and they sure as heck aren't going live on their channel three and four and five times a day. I don't know why she said, I just asked a question and the question was supposedly to her hacked account. So, I mean, she keeps going live and keeps talking about me and then shows my full name. Really? If it continues, I will contact my attorney. I should already contact my attorney because she already showed my name online, but yet was scared and deleted it. So if you're listening right now, Miss A, you better take down the hussy video because it's all lies. It's all lies. And anything else you've said about me since then, take it down and I won't contact my attorney. But I have every right right now to contact my attorney because you done doxed me online. Yes, there is proof of that deleted stream. Chemo does make you extremely sick. Yes, I know. And you know what? She's still on my prayers because if anyone needs prayers right now, it's hers. Because I don't know what medication she's on, but it's obviously messing up, messing with something upstairs. And how somebody can claim to love God and lie on somebody like she has, I have no idea. She keeps saying, I want her husband, that I'm trying to get with her husband. I didn't know. Oh, oh, and something else that she said. She said, my husband was like, who keeps emailing me? And so she said who it was. She says, oh, just block her. Really? You emailed me since then with hearts. And I thought he blocked me. So how do I keep emailing him? I've not emailed, I don't remember the last time I emailed him once I found out her real email address. And no, she had it nowhere listed on her channel, but she does now. Yeah, she put out my personal information. Lucy's World, do you want to put a link to the channel in the chat? And she said I had a website. She said I had a website and was making fun of her. Something about lipo or something like that. Hold on. Let me mute. My son just got home. Okay, sorry. Um, my son came home, so he was telling me about his day. And bless his heart, um, there was a child that's not in his class, but another class, um, 
right after lunch, they were walking real slow down the hallway and um, the kid passed out walking down the hallway. He just passed out. Ambulance came and got him. So I don't know what's going on, but just prayers out to that little kid. <clears throat> okay, so Lucy's World um, has posted the link for the channel. And that's what she's wanting. She's wanting attention. I don't like to call people names. You know, and she, she calls somebody a hussy and then says, oh, we don't bully around here. Well, what is that? What is that? I don't think I've ever called her a name. I don't think I've ever said anything mean to her. Even in that chat that I questioned her on the back, I just asked a question. But even with me asking a question, why the bag was dated 428, 2018, if that was her hacked account, she shouldn't even be mad at me, should she? I was talking to somebody else, right? All right, I am going to put your channel link. Okay. Crazy Granny, I got your channel link up. I'll watch some videos. But, it, I mean, it would just be nice for... I mean, I couldn't even get a word in edgewise. She said I came in her channel the other night with, like, all lovey-dovey stuff. No, that didn't happen. I strictly, I came in there because she was trying to say. By the way, I need help I'm tying my shoes. She was trying to say that, um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. She tried to say I came into her chat all lovey-dovey when no. The first thing that I said when I came into her chat was, so are you really trying to say that that wasn't you, that somebody hacked your account on Go Lightly's live stream? That's the first thing I said. And yet she lied and said I tried to come in there all lovey-dovey. No, that's not how it worked. And then she said I deleted my message. I didn't delete any messages. Just lie after lie after lie after lie. You go, okay, so my email address, you go to my about on my page, and you should be able to find my email address there. I'm not going to post it here in the chat. And she also threatened me. She said we were going to fight. I mean, come on now. That's a threat. I'm wanting attention? How am I always wanting attention? How am I the victim? Nope, don't think so. Am I, hey, guys in the chat, people that actually know me that come here, um, do I ever want attention? Am I ever playing victim card? Hmm? Really? When have I ever played victim? wanting attention I exactly it, she she's she's almost there if she doesn't take down the videos I'm contacting my attorney tomorrow and I don't bluff I don't bluff I have lots of friends in low places sunshine you think your husband's good on finding info? I have lots of friends. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Lucy's World. Thanks, Mike W. Yeah, if anything, I help other people, you know? You all don't, my, my subs, you all don't even know half the stuff that's wrong with me. Because I don't, I don't, there's no need in talking about it. There's just no need. Really? Yeah, I understand that cancer messes with people's reality and moods. So that's why I'm not saying that she doesn't have it. But the, the proof that she provided, this was before, supposedly before, I don't know. But the proof that she provided was, it didn't add up. So I guess the doctor was psychic. And that's, I guess that's why she's mad at me. And, I mean, I don't go to Go Lightly's channel either now. I just, I'm staying out of all the drama. 
I, I'm not about any of that. I've got other things that I want to talk about. Um, I plan on doing either a live stream or a video on now that I've got that out of the way. Okay. There was a 26 year old. I don't have the article in front of me, but I'll probably just do a video because there's so much I want to go over. Um, he's diabetic like me, type one. And they actually found him dead in his apartment because he could not afford his insulin. So he basically went into, um, is it diabetic coma when your sugar goes too high? Yeah, I see. 10, 2015. Yeah. She said that I've been harassing her since October. Um, October 14th is what she said. I just went to her channel first on December 6, 2018. It's the first time I ever went to her channel. So she must have had me mixed up with somebody else. I don't know. So thanks, Lisa. Appreciate it, sweetheart. Sarah, smile. Um, yeah, I'm actually trying to get a new pump. That's uh, it's the um, T-Slim 2, I think is what it's called. If your daughter's not on a pump, I do highly recommend it. Well, he did, he couldn't take his insulin. He he couldn't afford it. And so, yeah, insulin shock. Well, no, insulin shock would be from the insulin. He didn't have any insulin to go into shock. Um let's see. He they found him dead in his apartment. And her his mom, bless her heart, she blames herself because She's like, well, if he lived at home, this wouldn't have happened, you know. And they make it now to where there's certain insulins that you can get over the counter. But then the ones that work like the newer insulins, you cannot get them over the counter. You have to have a prescription for them. And say you don't have insurance, say you get a prescription for it, but you don't have insurance. Do you know how much these insulin bottles are for one vial? $500. And he couldn't afford it. I don't know if he had lost his job, lost insurance, or what happened to him, but bless his heart. I mean, it's scary. I mean, you can die in your sleep just from, you know, say a pump malfunction or anything. And it's scary not knowing if you're going to wake up every day. You know, I, I thank God every day when my eyes open because you never know what can happen. Any of us can die in our sleep, but you have more of a chance if you have, you know, an autoimmune illness and if something were to happen, you know. Oh, Brooke, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I mean, I keep all of y'all in my prayers anyways, and I don't need to know what's wrong with you. You, you, you know, when somebody asks for people's, names and what's wrong with them you know the man upstairs doesn't need to know any of that information he knows who you're already talking about he knows what's wrong so when i pray for everyone i literally do and he knows what to do and what for so I don't want any drama with anyone. I don't like my info being put out there. I don't like being lied on. And that's the only reason why I'm talking about this. I don't normally like to do this, but I didn't do anything to receive this type of influence from other people. There's so many hateful people out there. Thanks, Tracy. Appreciate it. It's good to see you, Tessa. Laura. Laura, I saw your request on, um, on Facebook, sweetheart. <clears throat> I just, I hardly ever go on Facebook, so... I don't ever go through the feeds or anything. I just do the Marfugal mods. The universe know what it's doing. I don't. Okay. 
Scott's thoughts. <laughs> okay. I mean, I just, she's got all of her subs convinced that I'm crazy and I'm the bully and I'm the manipulator when I haven't done anything. She's making all this stuff up. And they really believe her. Or they're acting like they believe her. There was one mod on her channel. Me and her got along real good. And they keep calling me this and that. I love you too, hon. Well, it, it's just, it, it's going to stop. If anything else is, if anything else is still up by the time I'm done with this stream. Okay. I'm contacting my attorney tomorrow when I do not bluff. You didn't know what to think because you what, Johnny B? Well, I made a community post for you to go watch the, the channel or the video that I put on my backup channel. It kind of lets you in on, you know, why I was talking about it. And yeah, it does. She does. Thanks, Johnny B. Appreciate it. I know you have, hon. Defamation of character, yes. Defamation of character. And she, she basically doxed me, putting out, I, I don't know if she's lying about it. I don't know. I don't want to say that. I do not want to think that, and I don't want to say that. Regardless, she needs our prayers. I'm not going to say that. But I will say that if she is, say she does not have it, and she asks for donations, that's highly illegal. Scott's Thoughts channel. Yes, I don't want anything to do with the drama either. I'm all about truth. I'm not a conspiracy channel. People that are awake and that are red-pilled know the truth. People that are asleep and take the blue pill think it's all conspiracy. That's the difference between us and a lot of other channels. Oh, the conspiracy. Bum, 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 bum. Well, if you were awake like you should be, the stuff that I talk about is pure truth. So, hey, don't be the tell. Kelly, 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 Kelly. Tracy. Yes, definitely. Yeah, and I mean, even after I apologized to go lightly for being upset, um, she blocked me after the fact because somebody had showed her a previous comment that I'd put before I apologized to her. Even though I put my apology, I've said some things. There's things out there that I've said that I didn't mean because I was upset. And, you know, I apologized publicly in her chat because I was upset because she made fun of Shanann. And then somebody showed her another comment like it was brand new. And I told her, I said, I emailed her. I said, well, you know what? I said, I publicly apologize to you, so I'm at peace. I said, but before you go and block somebody and start hating on somebody, why don't you check the dates? So that's all I said. And then so she starts mentioning my channel and blah, 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 and getting haters from her end. And I'm like, I, I didn't do anything to you. I just stated facts and opinions on how you were acting but you apologized for it so i'm not going to bring it back up i apologized we're all adults here you know and i even apologized to lady a i'm like if that was not you in the chat i apologize so whatever i'm sorry that this all got to where it's at because that was not my intentions i was emailing her what i thought to help her with cancer alternatives. I think there was only one email that was talking about something else. 
And she still has her super chat activated on her channel, getting donations when she told them she took it down. It's still up. So I think she's wanting attention. I think she's wanting subscribers by talking about other channels and I think she's wanting a pity party and people donating to her so I don't know who keeps texting me but I need to turn my phone down oh okay teacher is texting homework so okay so David Zublick on YouTube is saying that the court marshals have started Okay, David, where exactly have the court martial started? Are you talking about for martial law, like nationwide or a certain state? Oh, and I wanted to bring up something else I'm going to talk, start talking about. Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of tidbit. I don't know if I'm going to do a live stream or if I'm going to do a video. I prefer to do a video and get it out that way. But I just, I don't know yet because I want it to be done the right way. But I'm going to give you just a little snippet of something else I'm working on. There's a couple of YouTubers out there. I don't know if you all are aware of it, but they're actually, one's a level three, P-E-D-O, and the other one, which hasn't ever been charged, but was, um, um, let's see, how do I say this? Was texting a minor, which was 15, explicit pics. And we're talking about full grown men that are on YouTube right now, still with their channels. And so I'm just going to help get the word out there. I'm not going to say channel names right now. I'm just, it, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And going to jump on the bandwagon and help do the right thing. Do the right thing. And help expose the bad. And, you know, what's funny is, and it's not funny at all, nothing about this is funny, but what's ironic is... These channels talk about the PEDOs, but yet they are those. You know what I'm saying? So they're talking about what they do videos on. Isn't that funny? No, it's not funny. But. Yep. Okay, new group of world servers. I think both of you made up fake drama story for attention. Facts. Nope, I'm not making anything up, and I don't make up anything. So you can just go on with your bad self. I'm telling the truth, 100% truth. When I first got on here, I swore on the Bible. So go on with your bad self. It's one thing... I try to not ever do is to lie. And if I do find out that I was wrong, I retract. I have to worry about the man upstairs after I'm done with this world. I don't care about any other YouTuber or anything like that. I have to worry about the man upstairs. In the end, that's what matters. So... Because for every idle word and every idle thought, hey, Urban, what's going on, man? It is sick, Lisa. It's very sick. Abba's girl. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hey, Michelle Lynn. And, you know, anytime somebody tries to go in and... Um, I guess defend me, she blocks them. Like I couldn't get a word in edgewise in her chat. I've been waiting for you to show up for a week. You know, even though she emailed me back with hearts and stuff. So she really wasn't that mad that I emailed her hubby. 
she emailed me back with hearts. I was like, I emailed your PayPal email address and I wasn't getting a response. And I hadn't emailed that email since I got her actual email address. And so she knew I was emailing our husband and emailed me back. She wasn't mad. She emailed me back hearts. Go watch the video. So, and then said I hadn't been welcome on her channel since day one. Since day one, yet every time I came into her channel, she said hi. You know, never was any way towards me. So, whatever. I mean, people just want attention. I felt sorry for her. No comments allowed. That's nice. <clears throat> you know, you disable the comments. It sounds like you don't want people um, putting truth out there. She's going to disable comments on all of her videos? Come on now. If you can't take some constructive criticism and know that you're wrong, then why even have a YouTube channel? If you're going to disable comments... You know, the only reason I disabled comments is because I didn't have the time when my dog was dying to put up with it. The notifications on my phone was going crazy. I think I had, one month I had 17,000 comments to answer to at one point in time. I'm not exactly sure when that is, but when that was, but yeah, 17,000 comments. No joke. It's not me. Michelle Lynn, whatever that website, that is not me. I swear to God, it's not me. I mean, has she ever said what her real name is? Is that even her name? Michelle Lynn? Hmm. Yeah, she said, I did a website. She said, Exactly. I'm not case small. She's so delusional to think there's others out there that caught on to her, her prior stuff. I left quietly. Okay. So there you are, Michelle Lynn. So you put out a website then about her and she, yeah, you're probably on her haters list as well. Wow. So did you, did you do the website, Michelle? Hey, Aaron Berkey. Cactus Jane, what's going on? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Scott's Thoughts Channel, exactly. Yeah, I know. I know. That's what I was trying to show. It's why I sped up the laughs. She laughed for like a minute straight. And I'm like, oh, she must feel pretty good having chemo done that day. But, you know, above all this, if anything, I deserve an apology. Because I didn't do anything to deserve any of this. All I did was email her and tried to help her. All I did was try to help her. And then when I seen the bag, I was like, wow, you know, uh, mm, that's supposed to be your proof of chemo, yet it's dated for April. So I'm like, all these people that donated to help you with your chemo, I mean, that's how can you do that? Oh, I think they are scared of her. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't understand. So I didn't want this to be a full drama filled live stream. I just want to get the truth out there because this is really, really overrated. I got people calling me hussies and she said that I emailed her and told her to commit suicide in the car. Really? Why don't you show the email, sweetheart? Show the email. You showed other emails. Go ahead and show that one, too. Show the proof. 
I keep emailing your husband. I thought he blocked me. If I keep, how, how can he, how can I email him if he blocked me back when, right? And she says, I keep emailing him 18 emails or something. So show it, show the proof. I know, let it go. I know. It's just, oh, whatever. Anyways, okay, so whoever posted the Marshalls, where was that out? I don't know if they answered. Um, where are you? Where are you? I'm just going through the chat, guys. Give me just a second. Okay, so who somebody send a link to where they're showing the troops. And if it's domestic, where it's at. Hey Nash. Long time, buddy. Oh, okay, Michelle Lynn. Well, I hope they do a good investigation. They'll find out that it wasn't me. All right. Somebody posted earlier about some troops somewhere being released. Sean Carr, uh, um, you'll have to watch the replay. Bye, Laura. Much love, honey. Okay, so no martial law over the tri tribunals, just over the wall. Okay. Where at exactly, though, Robert? Where is it happening? Right there at the border? I think um, Marfugel's TV did a live stream last night. He got a, um, yeah, I know, martial law, still martial law. I know. But um, he'd actually received a message. I haven't watched the stream yet. I missed it. I slept like 12 hours last night. I slept from like 6 to 6 this morning. 6 last night to 6 this morning. I guess I needed it. Plus, my sugars have been really high because of this pump. This pump's malfunctioning, so I need to get the new pump ASAP. Or I might not wake up, you know? Just say some prayers that I get this new pump soon. Like, my sugar will be really high, and then I'll check the uh, tubing, and there will be a, like an inch of air that's in the tubing. That's an inch of insulin that I haven't got over a period of who knows how long. Oh, 
Well, I said, if anything else is said, you know, I'm contacting a lawyer tomorrow. So there shouldn't be anything else said. And I have people watching and people will let me know and people will record if I'm not able to. That's all I'm saying. Channel name better not be brought up. That word better not be brought back up. No more lies. And I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Thanks. I appreciate it, Michelle Lynn. But yeah, if you want to email me, my email is actually on my uh, on the about section on my YouTube page. I know, lively. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Well, I haven't said anything that's not fact. Well, physical body die, not eternal. So, thanks, Abbas girl. Love you, honey. Love you, Brooke. Love you, Michelle. Lively, thank you. I actually, Lively, I got a notification for one of your videos the other day. I meant to tell you. It's like the first notification I've received in forever. I haven't got to watch it yet. I've been pretty busy. I know I check my sugar all the time. I have to pretty much. Thanks, honey. See you later. It isn't. The, okay. So if you're on your mobile phone, I don't think you can find it. But if you're on a PC, it's there. Hey, mom, while you're on your phone, go to my channel and see if you can go to the about and see my email address. It shows up for me on my laptop. Thanks, Tracy. It shows up for me on my laptop, so. I know stress does a number on my sugar. Uh, it was two, 272 about an hour and a half ago, and I found another air bubble in my pump, so I hope it's still not high. And I was so mad because my A1C has been like, six, 6.3 for the last two or three years. And since this pump's been messed up, it went up to like 7.1. I was so mad. Been diabetic since 1993. Hey, Ron. Painful. What's going on? Oh, I'm so sorry, painful. Bless your heart. Thanks, Michelle Lynn. I will. No way, Robert. You're kidding me. That needs to be like uh, photographed, put in frames, and like dates put on there. Wow. Email is not there. Okay, so if anybody is on a laptop or a PC, please go to my channel and go to the about section and see if you can find my email address because I can see it on my end. I just want to know if there's like a glitch. Yes, I do CBD oil. My mom gave me some. Yes. 
she started ordering it. So she's been keeping me supplied. Thanks, Ron. My mom's awesome. Yes, it is dangerous. That's why every time my sugar's high, if it's over 200. No, 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 no. That's in the description. I'm talking about about on my YouTube. Go to the about section, not the description where it says about on my main page. It should say email address down there. Yeah, on mobile, I don't think you can do it. It's not in the description. It's just, it should be down at the bottom of the about section is where you find the email address. Thank you. Bye, Abba's girl. Much love, honey. Yes. Keep all eyes on Jesus. That is right. Shows your other channel in Google Plus and such. Yes, the email address should be, it says view email address, should be down there. Got to click the view email address, but it's there. Got to click view email address. It is, it is there though, Nash. So you are confirming it is there, Nash. I just don't think you can get it on mobile for some reason. But if you're on a PC or a laptop, yes, you can get it. All right, sweet. Thanks, Nash. Appreciate it. Really, Ron? Awesome. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know why. If you're on a mobile phone, you won't be able to see it. Or if you're on a tablet, I don't think you can see it. Thanks, Salted. Appreciate it. Yeah, the one channel I don't do much on... Um, but the backups for my backup. There is a very big difference. Yeah, I don't like to put a name on. I don't even like to say I'm religious. I don't like to say Christian because there's so many labels with that. I just, I, I follow Yeshua, you know, Christ Jesus. It's how it's said in the Bible. So... You know, God knows our hearts and knows who we follow. Thanks, Tessa. Yeah, I, I don't, nobody likes to be wrong, but there's a difference between admitting when you're wrong and not. And I mean, if I've ever been wrong out there, I'll put it out there. I mean, that puts me at peace. You know, it, it's kind of the same thing as if you have negative feelings towards somebody Always forgive that person because it'll make you at peace, regardless of who it is. You know, and you don't have to let them know that you've forgiven them. You know, it's between you and God. If you forgive them in your heart, then, you know, that's all that matters. You know, God says if you have any ill will towards anyone, then he will not forgive you. So it's all about the man upstairs, right? I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think you have to go to a building to go to church. I don't go to church anymore. I have my own relationship with God. And half the time, if you go to church, they don't speak what needs to be spoken about. Um, you know, when you leave church, you shouldn't feel good about yourself, okay? You don't need to leave church smiling and rejoicing you know, you need to know what should be said in church. There's a lot of good preachers on YouTube that you can watch. Um, uh, 
Pastor Charles Lawson's a really good one. Paul Washer's a good one. You know, nature. Yeah. I mean, you, you can have your own little church, you know. Go out in the woods, sit down, read your Bible, pray. I mean, have other people do that with you. You can have your own church. You don't have to go to a building and worry about the hypocrites and, you know, not not being taught what needs to be said at that time, you know. I'm not saying that preachers are bad or anything, and, you know, a lot of them do get words from God on what to preach on. But I just, I prefer not to go to a church because I do, you know, Jesus worshipped on the Sabbath for a reason. And the Sabbath is actually Friday desk till Saturday dawn. So I think I said that right. From time it gets dark on Friday till the end of Saturday. Oh, Scott's thoughts. No problem. Everybody's welcome here. I mean, as long as you're not being racist and if you're not bashing someone or, you know, doing a lot of spam or just, you know, cursing, like, you know, I, I curse every once in a while when I'm really, really upset, but I, I try not to. Um, but, you know, you should be able to be able to speak freely and not censored. And the longer you're on YouTube, the lo the lo the longer you're on YouTube, the more you respect that. You know, at first you're like, oh my God, you know, block them or do this or do, you know. Yeah. You, you learn a whole lot the longer you have a channel. Thanks, Tracy. Appreciate that, honey. King Flat. We're all one big family, you know? We should be. We help each other research. Uh, Kryptonian, what's going on? Exactly. You said it perfect, honey. Honor him in your heart every day. That's my church. That's amazing. It's amazing. Thanks, Johnny B. Appreciate it. It is there. Thanks, Sarah Hubbard. Cool. Kelly, watch that video I just posted about the Pope. I seen that and I was like, oh my goodness. I so got to put that up. It is about the one common goal. That's right, Scott's thoughts. Run from all religions, yes. It's all about it, the relationship. It's all about the relationship. Religion is highly overrated and a lot of false tints with religion. Thanks, Mama. Well, I didn't want to make this live stream out too long. Do you all want me to end it? Abba's girl, you just read about a woman in a nursing home in a vegetative state gave birth. Oh my gosh. Huh? A woman in a nursing home. So is an older woman in a nursing home in a vegetative state? Oh, wow. My goodness. What were they using her as an incubator? No, Ron, I will. I will. Can you put the link to that so I can read it, honey? Appreciate it. <clears throat> Everybody click on Ron's link. Mm-hmm. 
You got it, Doc. Nobody answered me. Do you want me to end the stream? Oh my gosh, Abbas. Oh, that's awful. I think I said thanks, Doc, for the link. I think I did. Aw. That's awful. Oh, I just don't want to drag this out too long. I just wanted to get my point across, you know. Everybody say prayers for you know, the one that's been lying on me, please. I mean, if anything, she needs prayers, so. <sighs> okay, honey. So an orderly did that to her? Um, hey, Brian, if you go to my community post on my channel, I put a link to watch that video and you'll find out there. But Lucy, um, you said the videos were gone, all of them? Or did she rename them? Yeah, Brian, I know. That is awful. That is awful. Awful, awful, awful. And got her pregnant. How old was the woman? I appreciate it, Scott's Thoughts. I'm just going to call you ST. Is that okay? Is it, Scott's Thoughts is long. <laughs> I know, but I want all of them gone. If they're not gone, my attorney's getting contacted tomorrow. I still have proof of her putting out my information, so I could still technically contact my attorney tomorrow. I don't like having to go to an attorney about anybody, but I will. Thanks, ST. STC. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about your mama, Kelly. Oh, you're in my prayers, Kelly. Sorry about that, honey. CEO resigned, says no one knew she was pregnant. Poor woman. The baby is said to be fine. People, sometimes people just want attention and obviously, I don't know how long she's done this, but she obviously is not in her right mind. Because I didn't do anything to her. I asked a question. You're welcome, Kelly. You all, oh my gosh, it is sunny outside right now. And let me tell you what the temperature is. You all are going to trip out. It is 
January 8th, okay, it is 58 degrees with real fill of 66. I'm sorry, not take that back. The 66 is the high for today. 58 with real fill 52 right now. And we are actually under a wind advisory at the moment until 8 o'clock tonight. Where are you at, Tessa? It's crazy. It's 60 degrees one place and snowing in another. Huh. I felt so bad. I was sleeping last night and uh, I missed Scarab's channel. I was supposed to be on there last night. And I missed a good one from what I heard. It's always really, really good when I miss it. I heard about that, Ron. I seen the clip. I was like, wow. How was your day? Good. Good. Um. Hold on. I got to meet real quick. Daughter just got home. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Mommy duties. I'm usually not ever live when they get home. It's just, this is like a spur of the moment type thing. I didn't know when I was going to go live. And this is their first day back at school since Christmas break. So, sixty-eight in Alabama. Wow. Eastern Washington State. Wow. So you're up north. Like, you're far away from me. Big time. Okay. Okay. So Satan gave him the inspiration for Dick Cheney. So was he saying Dick Cheney is the devil? Yeah. Okay. So what exactly did Satan give him the inspiration for? Because that's all I heard. Satan gave me the inspiration. So is that Dick Cheney, was that the movie? Did he do a movie? Well, I, I imagine if his daughter is anybody. So Cheney's daughter got mad. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you know, that makes sense, Ron, because Satan is the God of this earth. You know, he tempted Jesus with all the land. Think about it. Think about it. That's crazy. No, I did not know that. Nothing to see. And don't you think that, um, so, you know, I'm not sure how much of you all believe that, how much of NASA is truth, which I don't think any of it is. Um, I don't think we've been to space or on the, on the moon. Um, 
That's just my opinion. I think they, they hurried up and made the, um, the film, put it out there and before Russia could. Oh, I'm sure Ron makes complete sense. Yep. Right on key. It is all lies. It's crazy. If you don't have the gift of discernment, ask God to give it to you. If you ask, you shall receive. Okay, so you know that one picture that was put out while they were on the moon? And supposedly you can see Earth, right? And the Earth is like a convex lens, like a contact lens. Why is that? Can anybody answer that question? There's only one picture out there and the Earth looks like a half circle. I'm sure they'll try to say that the moon was blocking half of the light from the sun. But yet, doesn't the moon put out its own light? Doesn't the earth radiate its own light out? I mean, something. So, it, it just it makes no sense. I know they do. I know they do. But, it, it just, I thought that one image was really... Okay, cool. Awesome, Doc. Thanks. Appreciate that. Okay, Ron. Yeah, I, I, I knew that the moon was really cold and it gave off its own light. I, I'm just a true earther. I don't know. I haven't seen it for myself, so I can't really say what, what it is. But I don't think it's what NASA tells us, no. Um, there was a scientist that actually built his own rocket. Um, help me in the chat with his name. And when he, he said that he seen the Earth, and that the shape of the earth looked like a petri dish with curved up edges. I know that the earth is fixed and immovable. And I know that one video that I put out of NASA doing experiments, that they could only do the experiments on a flat plane. So... Why? It makes no sense. If you want your experiment to work 100% on a flat plane, then how would it work on a ball? It makes no sense at all. It was the NASA leaked documents that I put out a few months back. No, he actually built his own rocket. I seen the rocket. I seen the picture of it. It wasn't a helium balloon. Well, God says that there are waters above and below. And I believe that's why the sky is blue. It's water. Did you know that in the book of Enoch... It talks about um, the angels have certain doors that they open to let the sun, the sunlight, and then the moon light come out. Every day, they open and shut doors.
Picard, yes, that's it. Now, it wouldn't change our daily life, I don't think, but I think here's my here's my full opinion. I'll put this out there. I think it is shaped like a contact lens. I think it's a convex shape. From the research that I've done, the plane is flat. However, there is a dome above us, which is the firmament. I don't let it distract me either. Awesome salted. It's not a pizza. <laughs> what would change people's minds is the deception that they've been told their whole life and to not believe everything that they tell us. That's what matters. How they can lie to people for their own benefit. Not our benefit. Their own benefit. Because NASA is a multi-billion dollar industry. Um, the, the green screens alone should have woke people up. The benefit of knowing the truth matters. If the truth does not matter to you, then what does matter? Yeah, Seb Ron Shekelson. He's awesome. Even though I don't get notifications for his channel, I know I'm sub to him. And I am going to make double sure that I am still. Um, a lot of people's wrenches have been taken away on YouTube for some reason. Um, of course, you know, you'll get notifications and on people you don't even watch, but the channels you do watch. Yeah, go, go ring the bell again, yeah. Sometimes I'll unsub and then sub again, and then hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell. Now, the, the YouTube mobile app is actually really good at giving, giving notifications. <laughs> Kelly, you're funny. <clears throat> Well, if you go from old to new, Kelly, um, you'll see where I've grown. Um, we all do as YouTubers, you know. If somebody starts off doing YouTube with these high-tech videos that are just immaculate, you know, something's up there. As every YouTuber grows within their channel, you know. They don't all start off brilliant, and I'm, I, I don't even... I could never say my channel was brilliant, but they, they don't start off that way. That's how you know they're real. I just recently started monetizing my channel again. There was like a year where I didn't, a year and a half where I didn't. Appreciate it, Scott's thoughts channel. I think we'll all find find blah, 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 can't talk. I think we'll all find out the truth one day. I just don't think it'll be in this lifetime. 
I think that um, the people that are lying to us about it are sworn to secrecy. And they have to live with that, you know? Um, it's not too cool, is it? You know, if you work for any establishment and they make you swear to secrecy, leave. The Bible talks of secret societies and how they're wrong. And that Pope video that I just put out tells a whole lot. Also, that Kevin Spacey video that he put out on his YouTube channel, Let's Be Frank, that video tells a lot. Tells a great deal. So, his arraignment was yesterday, and he goes back to court on March 4th. He could actually face up to five years in prison, which you know won't happen. You know that won't happen. Hey, Kate W., what's going on? Pup or Pope? Pup video. What are you talking about, Brian Stone? The Pope video that I just put out. He's kissing the hands of Rockefeller and Rothschild. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Shouldn't they be kissing the Pope's hands? What do you mean, Lisa? Well, when me and mom were talking about it this morning, um, well, I put it in the description, Brian. I didn't, you know, you have to be really careful these days on YouTube how you, I didn't want to put it in the video because then it would have got flagged. So I just put it in the description. But that's who those people were. Yeah, Rockefeller and Rothschild. And the I don't know how far in advance, like I wish I would have found the whole clip of that because Benjamin Netanyahu was also there with all those people. You could see him when it started, Benjamin Netanyahu. I know that was him. He was over, if you, you look at the video when it first starts, when the Pope's walking, He's uh, right to the left-hand side. But what I was saying was um, that Let's Be Frank Kevin Spacey vid was a warning and a threat from what we gathered. Um... I'd like to do a video on it and just show once I get more information. But I really do think it's a threat and a warning. Like, if you don't take care of this crap, then he's going to pretty much out everybody. Out everything. Have a good day, Lamont. Thank you. Stonebender, what's going on? Yep, it sure does. Goes back to the beginning of the Federal Reserve income tax being put into action. Exactly. Okay, well, um, I am think I'm going to go ahead and end this. It's a quarter after four. It's been going on a little longer than I wanted it to. Uh, I'll try to get in a live stream with James sometime this week if he wants to. So be watching for that. 
We usually like to go on Sunday nights. That's usually the nights we go live. I wasn't feeling very well the last couple days, so. Um, but yeah. And then uh, you can catch me on Scared Performance Channel Mondays and Fridays. I go over there and do shows with him. So make sure you, sc you sub to Scared Performance as well. It's okay, Lisa. We all have our days, sweetheart. You know I love you. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Jesse, on that. I haven't been really keeping up with much. Like, uh, whenever I get my pump situated and my sugars get back on track... I'll be I'll start to feel better hopefully and get back where I need to be. I mean, when my sugar's high, it changes my vision, it changes so much, it changes my attitude, my vision, my overall feeling, stuff's in like slow mo. Sounds good. Check out these floor from. Oh yeah, mud flood buildings. That's crazy. The mud fossils from the flood. Yeah, crazy stuff. So much out there that people have no idea. You keep posting these links. I'm keep right clicking on them. <laughs> I'm gonna have a world of uh, tabs open. I, I actually am on a low carb diet, but still here here's the thing. I I have to have insulin whether I eat or not. My pancreas does not work. Say like if I didn't have my insulin, even if I didn't eat my sugar, it'd still go high. It's crazy, isn't it? I have to have insulin in my body every minute of every hour of every day. I have a certain amount of insulin that goes in my body. So, even if I didn't have insulin and I just ate salad, nothing but salad and greens, my sugar would still go high. It's crazy. It's my pancreas does not work at all. Uh, with the pump, I can pretty much eat anything I want. I just put in the insulin for the carbs that I do eat. So um, the type of insulin that I'm on, it covers everything. So I really don't have to be on a low-carb diet. You know, I haven't ate anything today, and my sugar was still 230 because my pump keeps messing up. So whether it be low-carb, high-carb, it doesn't matter what I eat. I still have to put in insulin. So... I've been on the low carb stuff before. I used to have to count calories. I couldn't eat anything with the carbs in it before on the insulin I was on. And that wasn't really fun. So I pretty much eat anything I want. It's just I check my sugar, I count my carbs, and I go. I'm not overweight or anything, so I don't have to worry about that. So, but I'm going to go ahead and end this stream, guys. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. Yeah, Jesse, it sucks. But... Thanks for all the support, you guys. I'm not telling you all to go over there to her channel to bash her. You know, we're not about any of that here. I just wanted the truth out here. And I know that you all will... I think I'm froze. Okay. I know that you all will um, stick up for me if needed, if you do catch something. But like I said... The stuff better be gone, or I will contact my attorney tomorrow. No bluff. It better be down. It better be gone. And she knows what stream I'm talking about. All right. Much love, you guys. Prayers for everybody. And, um, yeah. So I will talk at you all later. God bless you guys.